This is Phnom Penh, the capital city of Cambodia. Located in the heart of Southeast Asia, Cambodia is a small country compared with others in the region. But integration into the ASEAN economic community has brought Cambodia into contact with ASEAN's more than 600 million citizens, making it a key destination for future global investment. For the past two decades, peace and political stability have fueled the rapid growth of Cambodia's garment, services, and construction sectors. And of course, the banking sector is the backbone of this growth. Cambodia is a growing country, and we feel the power of, you know, of growing uh, everywhere. So looking at the uh, outside, uh, you can see lots of you know, buildings. It's brand new. So uh, that is uh, uh, you know, um, proof of the uh, growth of economy. Cambodia's GDP was $16.7 billion in 2014, up 7.1 percent over the previous year. And with young people making up 68 percent of the population, the kingdom's economic boom is poised to continue. But in order for companies to invest in Cambodia, they have to feel confident about the security of their data. Of course, uh, uh, we have lots of you know, um, business in, uh, all over the world. And uh, uh, security, you know, uh, is a very important part of our business. And uh, not only technology, but also, you know, um, keeping uh, a server or keeping uh, uh, information uh, would be very, very you know, different thing from the banking operation. However, our business consists of, you know, information. That's why. Um, um, NTT uh, must be uh, our partner. NTT Communications Cambodia opened its Phnom Penh office in 2010. Country manager Marit Kin sees great potential for Cambodia's future growth. If we come back to before 2010s, uh, we go back to 2013 until 2018, so Cambodian is like uh, more uh, popular and it is growing for the uh, property business. You see the, the property is coming up you know, 10 times, 20 times based on the areas. So after that, uh, in 2010, um, a Japanese government have uh, attracted I mean, eyes on the uh, uh, a Cambodian, I mean Southeast Asia, and they, they see Cambodians one of potential. So uh, at that time, you know, our company have uh, uh, decided that we should have a branch in Cambodia. Toyota has a history in Cambodia that stretches back 23 years. Today, Toyota Cambodia Co. Limited relies on NTT Communications for all of their ICT needs. Vì mô mình có một chút nữa là dựng cái tour của Pon là mày mà chui operate là lừa business dễ nữa nữa, chuyên kết là con đập hiệp, bà con đập hiệp hay năng ca support đó, cứ dựng chui chia tài mà đòn, cứ dựng vô, miền này là dựng chui chia, dựng thưa ai ở phách cho mua năng operation rồi dựng, xong cắt một chút năm, dài dựng cái tour tại phần này mua này. เอ่อเซวาระบบอินอันดิทีเด้แต่เครื่องกดมาฉน้ำนั้นคือคนเพียวกดหรอกดซัพพอร์ตหรอจังខ្ញុំក៏ផ្ដោរពីអឺអ្
uh, the gallery in Cambodia. And we are growing more than 70% recent year. Um, expect to be another more four or five years. It's going to be the same, the same pace. And uh, uh, this message from NTT, uh, uh, we would like to invite and you know um, uh, ask a more investor to uh, to invest in Cambodia more. And we are the one who uh, support the uh, infrastructure, ICT infrastructure. I believe that they are going to be uh, feel uh, satisfied and feel uh, comfortable to do more business in Cambodia. For investors, there's no need to worry about ICT support in Cambodia because Cambodia has NTT Communications offering world-class quality support for ICT solutions. Myanmar, which is one of the underdeveloped telecommunication markets in Asia, lags behind its neighbors in Southeast Asia. Only few people have access to fixed telephone lines here. Since the first internet connections were established in 2000, internet services in Myanmar still remain slow and unstable. Faults due to construction work causes frequent connection failure and are often not repaired. However, the situation has now changed as many people here are getting affordable mobile services as Myanmar Post and Telecommunications joined hands with two foreign firms, Kutas Orido and Norway's Telenor to build up the country's cellular infrastructure last year. In 2012, only 2.5% of the population had access to mobile, but now the SIM cards are easily available at a reasonable price. Following liberalization, Myanmar's telecommunication service market is widely opening. Over the next year, the government plans to provide a license to the internet fixed line providers. Japanese leading telecom company NTT Communications Corporation has been awarded the new telecom license by the Myanmar government in August 2015. The company now provides landlines to the households and offices across the country. Sakuratar is a 20-story building in Yangon, the biggest city in Myanmar, which has offices of over 100 multinational companies. Ashkan Azadika Jaromi, ICT coordinator, ENI Myanmar BV, said internet is very important because we use it for communication. Internet for us is very important because we use it for communication, to call our headquarters, we hold a lot of video conferences, all our mail communication is going through that, and we do not have any other backup links right now, so that will add more importance to our internet service provider. NTT Communications is also planning to lay state-of-the-art submarine cable to Thailand and will launch largest data center in Bangkok. The Japanese companies in the healthcare sector are also launching innovative products. A physiotherapy machine for spinal cord was introduced at a recently held exhibition in Tokyo. The spinal cord care machine is called Seragem Master V3, which is based on oriental medical and chiropractic theory. Natural emeralds that produce far infrared are used on the top and the bottom of the mat. Furthermore, computer detects the optimal pressure point by scanning the information of the spinal cord, such as the size and position for each person to provide optimum relaxation for beauty and health. The spinal cord care machine already has a reputation in overseas market, including the United States and Europe. The price for one unit starts from 700,000 Japanese yen. 